So MakerBot Industries makes an affordable open source 3D printer. This is a machine that can make things for you. And basically you put it together, it comes as a kit, and when you've got it, you're done, you have a 3D printer that can sit on your desktop and you send it, uh, you have an STL file for an object and then you slice it up uh, in a program called SkeinForge, totally open source. Use a program called Replicator G, which we made up, which takes the G code, which is machine language, sends it to the machine, and whatever idea you had for a 3D object gets made in the 3D printer, up to about that size. We're obsessed with open source, and that for a few reasons. One, we found a lot of inspiration from the whole open source software community. We know that if we make it open source, and we let everybody who wants one of these things also have all the designs, all the plans, all the code, all the electronics, eagle files, all the diagrams for the circuit boards, that if they want to make modifications to it, it makes it really easy. You want to hack it and put a different kind of extruder on it, all the, all the support is there for you to be able to do whatever you want with it. All right, so we have a few people we're making this for. We want, we're making it for architects, engineers, designers, um, and then like, our, um, people who are in school, whether you're in a professor or you are in some sort of institution where you want a way to make objects really fast and cheap. Um, but then we're also making it for people who want to live in the future. We were promised flying cars. We were promised hoverboards. We were promised uh, space colonies. We were promised all these magical things in the future, including a machine that would make things for you, whatever you wanted. Well, we can't really do anything about flying cars yet, but we can. We've we've come up with a platform for three for for a kit that you can get and build your own 3D printer. So open video conference. So I was one of I was one of the early video bloggers. It was me and about 20 other people, and that was the time where like before YouTube, before Blip, before Vimeo, before all these things, we were all just sharing our lives online, giving tours of our houses, telling personal stories, crying, and. We were watching everything because there were only 20 people doing it. And it was really exciting. And a lot of my friends from, from those days are here because we're all obsessed with this idea of sharing. This idea of sharing our lives and sharing things with people. And open video, it might seem like it's all about codex, but it's actually about something really personal. Sharing your life and sharing with video, sharing really special things. Your mother was right, it's better to share. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's a culture of sharing. This is the most powerful, interesting thing in the world right now, this culture of sharing. You know, back in the day, you know, the hippies had free love. In the 80s, they had electronic music. Right now, we have a culture of sharing that's just rocking the world. Like, the old ways can't even figure this out because they're like, they don't understand it at all, but like, as soon as you share something and somebody else does something with it, you get this feeling of pride. It's like fixing a bicycle or something like this. Somebody is like built on something you've done and it's just this magical feeling. And as soon as you have that magical feeling, you're like sharing, it's the future, I'm in. And for me, ever since those early days of video blogging, I've just given everything to the internet. Everything I've done up on the internet. This is pretty much the ultimate thing to print out on a MakerBot with black ABS. You can check it out, get your own ABS plastic for your MakerBot, MakerBot.com. I want this battle station operational in five minutes.